Brick Maniacs, it's time for another episode of Brickmania TV. Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. We have a little history section here first, and I'm joined today with Professor Fitz. Hi, I'm hey. Professor Fitz. All right, Fitz, <laughs> Professor Fitz. Um, welcome, first of all. Today we have the Newport 11 and the Fokker Eindecker E3, correct? Yes. So I understand that you know a thing or two about history. Yes, I uh, have been doing some research on these two planes. Cool. And um, why don't we start with the Eindecker because that was the the first one, sure. the first plane. That makes sense. Um, the Eindecker. Um, so in World War One, the two warring nations would commonly try to outdo each other. Right. So they would up design better aircraft, better climb. Uh, so the Eindecker, um, and the word Eindecker actually literally means monoplane or single wing. So it was. One of the first single wing uh, aircraft in World War I. The, one of the biggest problems was getting the machine gun mounted on there and so it wouldn't destroy the right. propeller when it shot through it. Um, before they designed the technology to do that, they had something called a deflector plate in which they had put metal on these propellers right. And it would literally deflect bullets off seems of it. Seems a little bit primitive. It seems a little. It seems a little. <laughs> yeah, it, it did not. It, it didn't work particularly we well. Yeah. Um, so what they did is they designed something called interrupter gear, which basically um, synchronizes the propeller with the machine gun. So when you're firing it, you're not blowing apart your own propeller. Right. So this is one of the first airplanes to do that. This is one of the first airplanes to do it. The Germans developed the technology, although it wasn't. Perfect. So sometimes it, when it would malfunction, you would they would actually blow their own propeller off and they would <laughs> <laughs> it would crash. But yeah. relatively speaking, it worked well. Yeah. So cool. Um, so the plane, as as uh, as it um, may be mentioned or noticed, um, the plane and uh, they used a warped wing design. That's what right. these these cables are for here. And this was to help the plane. Um, and I don't know a lot about aviation, but from what I understand, it's helped the plane get. Better lift, better climb, their speed, and mm -hmm. to basically outdo the Allied planes. Right. Um, yeah, and so it's the these were such a problem. They were actually referred to as the 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 Fokker Scourge of 1916. There you go. Um, they were such a huge problem. So we cut to the Newport here, there you go. which was uh, designed specifically to combat the Eindeckers. Right. And so um, the uh, the French did not have the same interrupter technology that the uh, Germans had. So the machine gun here is mounted on top of the wing, um, which um, worked for. So they didn't have to bother with trying to figure out how to mount it, so it didn't blow the propeller off. But on top of that. Um, it, this was really the only downside of the plane. It made reloading the gun much more difficult because it, it took you out of combat for a number of uh, minutes while you tried to reload it or, or however long it right. took. Um, but the plane was developed specifically and it had better, uh, better top speed, better climb, um, and it basically ended this plane's uh, reign. Scourge. Scourge. Ended, ended scourge. scourge, that's it, yes. Scourge. So. Yeah, uh, basically, I mean that's the, that's kind of the whole the whole thing about the Newport. The Newport was also instrumental in um, helping the Allies win the Battle of Verdun, which was a major uh, battle um, during the First World War. Um, and there are actually uh, several uh, movies and things based around that. So. Absolutely. All right, thank you very much, Fitz. And now we will we will bring in the designers to talk about the kits themselves and how they built these kits. Cool. Thanks, man. Absolutely. All right, Brick Maniacs. Today I am joined with by from Cody Osell. Ding. That's me. Hey, Cody. Hey, Lionel. I'll get that word one of these days. Um, I feel like it's been a while. It's been a while. It has. What was your last model? No. Don't even know. I feel like I built this thing like two months ago. Do you just draft the F bomb? Do you build? Right. So wait, sorry. You built this model um, two months ago, right? I don't know. It was a while. And it's ago. been a while. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah, so let's get right into the model. We have the Newport 11. Nice. And this was 
on the scene during World War I in 1916. It was built specifically to fight the Fokker Eindecker, nice. which I think is how you pronounce it. So this isn't quite a biplane. It's a, I think it's pronounced sesquiplane. Sesquiplane. So it has the large wing on top, and then it has like a half-size wing on the bottom. It is a half-size wing. So that improves rate of climb and maneuverability, and it allows the pilot to see better um, that makes sense. Looking over the side of the airplane because it's not such a huge wing there. Right. So it gives you a little bit better visibility. Um, yeah. So as far as build goes, right. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun. In what yeah. way? What was fun about it? Um, it was fun coming up with the, the engine cowling and how the engine sort of fits around in there. The exhaust. Just just the little details in the right. small space. I know I th if you use a little bit of a Technic piece right in the middle, it's... Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of illustrates a radial engine there a little sure. bit, and it still allows it the propeller to spin, 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 spin. <laughs> That's what they called it in World War One. So. Yep, spin. Right. That's what the French. Alternative the French word. Word. exactly. <laughs> um, we got some printing on all those cool propellers. Yeah, so it's I jammed it with printing because yes. I know some people like all the printing stuff. So we have as much as I could jam on there. Right. We got the printed roundel. Uh, printed propeller blades on the front, which is kind of a repurposed version of the right, the other artwork you've we've, done. We've used this on a few um, prop, 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 plane. Practical. I can't talk. I can't talk. Practical plane. Practical plane. <laughs> prop driven airplanes Yep. Um, in the past, and we just like the artwork, so. Yeah. And then it's got the printed roundel dish yes. on the bottom. Boat studs, what boat are those stud. called? Dishes? Yeah, sure, boat studs. Yes, those are kind of cool. Um, stickers so. on the top. Yep, sticker around. Very the iconic top. roundels. And what else is on top of this airplane? So we have a new brick arm debuting for the very first time. Debuting here. on this aircraft, it is the uh, blanking. I'm blanking. It's the Lewis gun. It's the aircraft <laughs> Lewis gun. <laughs> yes, we got it. You got it. Brand a new. So Brand I, new Lewis yeah. gun. It's fun. Super cool design by cool. Brick Arms. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, I like how it plugs right into that um, lever base. Lever base, yeah. yeah. And it's got the bipod on there to look like it mounts stronger. Nice. Anyways, yeah, it's a it's a strong little biplane. You can pick nice. it up from either the top or the bottom wing oh. without it breaking. This is it. <laughs> what, what's this thing called? There? Not a biplane. It's a oh, sesquiplane. 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 Um, comes with a custom printed pilot. Yep. Is he built into there? Or can you get him out? I think I'm it just comes out. right out. Sometimes you have to build a plane around it oh. a little bit. Oh! <laughs> oh! So that's a stock Lego uh, face on that. Yes. And then mustache some. Mustache face. Yes, nice mustache face. Look at the helmet back on. Um, the rubber band scarf. Nice rubber, yeah, rubber band scarf. And then a printed scarf, so you kind of have the option, either one or both. Mm -hmm. um, and just a heavy duty leather jacket from that era and a pistol belt. Uh, front and back printing. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And anything else? So the black is intentional. Yes, um, let's look at that. It's kind of part of the paint scheme. They had a few little black stripes on the on the aircraft. On the aircraft. On the top and the bottom, right? Yep. And a brick-built color scheme on the. So that's actually something to point out. There's a sticker right here to kind of create that black line. So the piece underneath of that tan sticker mm -hmm. um, is black, and then just to create that cool line, we use a sticker. Pretty simple, but. Cool. Awesome. All right, that is the uh, that's the model. That is the first part of the episode. Um, now it is time for John's kit. Thanks, Cody. You're welcome. Get out of here. Am I doing anything special? You just do that, so you can just walk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Brickmania TV. This is the this is your brand new model, the Fokker Eindecker E three. <laughs> I remembered it. Woo. It's the little things, you know? We wrote it down for you. I know. So you wouldn't. I just read it just now. Um, so this would be... The, well, Do you like the sound effects? That's exactly what, that's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> I have no idea. But yes, this is, this, is, uh, this is the counterpart to the Newport 11. Right. Doing this build, um, an interesting feature was that the actual wings were actually attached at a slant. Yeah. Right, so that was a little bit challenging as far as getting that to work. I want to talk about this minifig. Now, why does he not have a helmet on? Well, guess what? 
guess what? He stole the plane. He stole it. Okay. It's he's, not his plane. He's not his plane. So you've created this backstory here, huh? I've created a little backstory because I'm influenced by, by the world and what world. I, the way I perceive the world. I'm influenced by the world. And then, it, you know, it goes through some, some gears that, and then it that, comes, comes back out is again. Is that how that works? All right. So this guy, yes. hello. he's dressed like a German, which you did an excellent job. Thank you. Yes. On the design of the character. Uh, but he's dressed like a German, but he's not maybe a German. He might uh -huh. be an American yeah. spy. He might be. He might be an American spy. So that's, that's you know, when someone gets this kit, they're going to have a lot of fun with it. They can decide if he's a German pilot, or they can decide if he's a spy that stole a German pilot, and he's got some important, important information for the Allies. Or actually, what, what do we call, maybe Professor Fitzer can tell us what they called, World War II is Allies and Axis, right? I have no idea what the heck they were in World War I. So. This isn't the Central Powers and the Triple Entente or whatever. What's that called? What? Triple Entente. Yeah, yeah. There you go. What was that, Professor I Fitzer? Didn't I didn't even have history lessons. <laughs> He'll tell us later. <laughs> they didn't have history when I was in school. <laughs> didn't so, exist yet. So this is a great minifigure, but this is our, was our, my first idea for a minifigure right here. I did. We call that little Cody. That is Cody. <laughs> he has that hat and everything. There's a little blue lunch pail bucket thing. Yes, but we thought, well, maybe we should go more authentic, <laughs> you know, more the, what, what the character really looked like. Oh, well, why, are you th why are you throwing a little Cody around for? Is it, he didn't do anything to you? You don't even know. It's all right, little Cody. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this, this is a great build. We have a cool uh, Maxim aircraft bar um, air-cooled barrel on top. I think it's air-cooled. Air-cooled barrel on top. Um, had some uh, a, a neat feature, which uh, again I'm going to have Professor Fitz explain it more in detail. But it was actually able to sync with the propeller blades, the, the firing of this. Um, nice sticker sheet that goes with it. Um, you have uh, the cross stickers on top, on the side of the plane. You have uh, the Fokker E3 initials here, um, and some some detailed information about nice. which plane it was in the series. You also have stickers on the bottom. And then on the tail. Now, also these uh, the rear wings, which I'm sure they have a name. Which I'll show the know. camera. Yeah. What does it do? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. They can move the flaps. Flaps. That's it. Flaps. flaps. Whatever. Rear wings. They move. They're movable. And of course, propeller moves. We going to take off. And then this, <laughs> of course, in in my world, uh, they're 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 dog fighting, wolf fighting. We might we say. Go. Oh. And, and, and then he's what? Gonna, oh, wait a minute. He doesn't have a pilot. We oh, can't okay. so this is fly impossible. him around without well, wrong pilot. He stole this and he's stealing he this plane. He doesn't have a pilot either. He's it stealing now. it now. <laughs> he's stealing this plane. You can't do that. That's still, oh. This is my history. He flies up All right, down. So he falls out and then steals your airplane. <laughs> so he stole both airplanes. So he's flying both at once. You can't do that. Is that what you wanted? Landon lost <laughs> control. You went there first. Where's a reset? We need a reset button on <laughs> Again, as far as the build goes, it was rather fun to get the, uh, the wings to work the way I wanted. Um, and then again, we have the, <coughs> the cool string set up on the bottom and the Very top. Cool. And I think, I think that's it for the kit. Um, you're going to really enjoy it. So great, two great kits. I would say uh, getting these two kits, I mean, would be a great idea because you can have then dog fights. Absolutely. Right? You Absolutely. can, you know, again, this one will dominate and shoot this one down that's right, Cody. 99 out of 100 times. But once, you know, one every hundred times, maybe this guy will win, so. I don't Anyways, know if that's entirely historical. Great kits, World War I, fantastic. <clears throat> you enjoy them thoroughly. Cody's stealing my plane. Cody, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off, Cody. Okay. <laughs> ah! All right, that, <laughs> that is a close-up look of the Newport 11 and the Fokker Eindecker 3. E3. There we go. There we go. Uh, for more information, check out BrickMania.com. E e Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Unsubscribe from John's channel if he has one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.